All right, guys. Leon here. I'll show y'all I got my new pump I'm going to install. This is my new AR. But anyway, what I'm getting on here for today, guys, is I'm going to show you what I'm making. Now, this is all you need for the gas roof pump. So this is a one-inch manifold. Now, this is what you've got to understand. Do not go three-quarter. I don't care what anybody tells you. Go with one inch. This is your one inch. So this is the most inexpensive way to make these things up. This is your one inch water line with a regular ball valve. That's all you need with a check valve, one inch. All you need is a half inch soap metering valve reduced down to a quarter inch. The only metering valve you need on this is the one inch for your bleach. So you don't need the big expensive metering valve here. You don't need the big expensive metering valve here. You just need it here. So it's got a one inch check valve. Now this is your three quarter inch reduced down to three quarter bypass. This is your one inch. This is what flows into there. So that's what feeds the pump. All right. Now I'm making these up and I'm going to give you different varieties that you can buy. You can buy this right here. As you see it, $550. Now you can go pay $800 for it somewhere else if you want to. But I'm trying to cut your cost, save you guys some money. This is what I'm running on mine. This is what I recommend. Uh, it's the most inexpensive way to go. So now I'm going to give you options. This will be mounted on a plate. Just like what I'm building here. So we can put it on a plate for you. We can put it on a uh, plastic plate or we can put it on a aluminum plate. So you have that option. So if it's mounted on the uh, aluminum plate, it'd be 50 more dollars. And also we're going to offer, let me show you, this right here. So you can buy this plate or you can do your own. That's all your metering valve. I mean, your uh, 12 volt shutoff valve, your 12 volt solenoid switch. So that's going to be the backside if you want that. But the main thing that I'm focusing on right now, guys, is this right here. So this is very simple to hook up. You hook your bypass here, 25 foot, runs back into here. You run your main water line off your pump to this one. So these two here will hook up with a one inch line. Always take that off and put a one inch on it. So your main water line coming from your tank will go right here. And all this is for is so you can cut it back a little bit to restrict the water to make your soap pull and your bleach pull. And once you get that primed, you're okay. You can turn it back wide open. For the soap valve, all you need is this inexpensive soap valve because it's not wear and tear on it. But again, here's your metering valve for your bleach. So your main bleach coming out of your bleach tank will hook here. Your soap will hook here. Your main water line will hook here. That goes to your machine. That goes to your machine. That's your bypass, three quarter inch, 25 feet of hose. Goes back into right there. Feeding your pump goes from here to there. So anyway, guys, if you want this, it's $550. Or you can build it yourself. So anyways, I'm getting the parts in. I think I've got enough uh, to build this one and one more. But uh, so anyways, there you go. There's your saving tip of, today, of the day. And I promise you, there's no sense in paying the big bucks for these little manifolds 
You can either build it yourself. If you want me to build you one, I'll build it. It's $550. If you want the plate behind it, there's two options. You can go with the plastic plate, uh, put behind it for $25, or you can go with a stainless steel plate for $50. So anyway, guys, there you go. I'm trying to make it easy for y'all. And this is all you need right here for these gas roof pumps. This is the manifold you need. This is all it takes. So I'm trying to make it easy so y'all can see. This is Jeff Pittman's. He's basically got the same thing. The only difference is he's got the metering valve on the water, which I'm going to take off and put one of these cutoff valves on it so it'll be cheaper. And they all will be labeled water, soap, and chemical just like that. And see, this is uh, how he is it's hooked up. This bypass hose, there's this 25-foot bypass hose coiled up there, runs right here to his bypass. Hadn't hooked this up yet because i got to change that out to one inch, but that will run from there to there. A little short one-inch hose will come right there to feed. So this runs... His main water line coming in, goes up, feeds in. Soap coming in, goes through the 12-volt solenoid, comes up, goes in, mix with it. And then uh, his bleach, two ways. So this runs, his hose here runs from his 12-volt cutoff in the back, and then it runs up to the bleach tank there, goes in. And if you see, we got the Uniseal that we're using. So here's your chemical. So you have water, soap, chemical. They all mix in. It's metered how much you want, how much soap you want, how much water you want. It all comes back, flows through the pump, goes out, and goes to your reel. All right, guys, there it is. So there's your manifold. That's the most inexpensive manifold you can buy. And if you want one, this bad boy here is going on my trailer today. But that's going on my trailer right there. And uh, I change these things out about every three months or so, every six months, whatever, whatever I decide to do. Uh, but anyway, I keep new equipment on my trailer always. So when you guys buy something of mine that's old, it's not that used. So but there you go. That's what you need right there. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. And uh, any of you guys want these, place your orders. Uh, we're trying to get the parts in. Hopefully, the metering valves will be in this week. And got these on order, check valves on order. So everything's on order. So hopefully, it'll all get in. And if you guys want any of these, let me know. And I will ship them out to you. Again, it's $550. And that's about as good as deal you find anywhere. And that's all you need, guys. If you want to build your own, there you go. Build your own. It don't matter to me one way or the other. If you'd rather build yours, then build it. Because, uh... Anyway, I'll be in Atlanta Friday. And I may take a couple of these up there Friday. Uh, for the Young Gun show. i got to do a demonstration Friday morning, so... I'll be up there for that. All right, guys. Let y'all run. There you go. Leon, Southern Style Pressure Wash.